I have spent 1,000 euros on Pokemon card, and this is what I got. How's it going, everybody? I'm Ben from Budget Pokemon, and in this video, we're going to be unboxing what is most possibly my most expensive video. And first of all, though, let me get rid of most of the letters here. Let's see. Let's start with with this one, I suppose. Let me get the. Actually, no. We can we can keep the camera like this, I suppose. Yeah. Let me just try to get this. Try to get this open, because this is. Well, this is the 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 package, the first package you're gonna see in a second. For my hidden fates tins, which by the time this video comes out, you will already have seen unboxed, and you will already know what we gotten from this. Let me just try to do it like this. There we go. Get rid of the package. And here we are. I guess we do the, the Charizard in the middle. Yep, alright, here we are. Now we're zoomed in a bit again. So, here we have the three Hidden Fates tins. As I've said, you will already have seen me open these um, last week on Sunday, which I bought these for my birthday. I thought I'd add them in here as well, because I kind of kind of make sense for me. But at the time of recording, I actually don't know what we pulled out of this. So this will be, this will be really, really cool to to unbox. Let's go with the with the second package, which is considerably smaller than the last one. But let's see, honestly, it hasn't been that long ago since I've ordered all of this, but I've kind of forgotten what what most of these are. I mean, I know what I ordered. I just don't know what's inside each um, each parcel. That's the that's the big problem. So let's see, what's in this one again? Okay, I think I remember what's what's in this one. Hang on. All right, here we go. So let me try to get this cardboard top loader. I actually quite like these cardboard top holders. And oops, there is more tape right here. This is actually a really, really special card. So yeah, most of these are singles other than that product just. And yo, check this out. The original Shining Mew from the Koro Koro comic. Check this card out, bro. That looks so good. You see how that shines? And the condition isn't... Well, it isn't perfect, as you can see by the centering on the back. It's... It's comically off-centered. But, other than that, there is really nothing wrong with the card. There's a... A little tiny dent, or yeah, a little tiny dent right here, maybe. Like a bit of whitening here and there. But this is a really, really clean copy. Man, oh man, this is cool. As you know, I do love love Mew. Mew is my favorite Pokemon. Just put this right here. I guess we can zoom out a bit more. Actually, I've changed my mind. Let's put the Mew over here. What else do we have? Oh, I guess the the FedEx parcel or the FedEx envelope. There should be three cards in here. This actually came from Japan. I bought this off of eBay from a seller in Japan, and it like it reached me in like two or three days, which was crazy fast. I mean, I'm I'm used to to receiving mail from from Japan like super fast, but that even that surprised me as well. Let's see, so. I think these these should be the EX cards that I've ordered. Pretty sure. Let's see. Really well packaged. That's also something I've come to to kind of expect in a way. Like, oh here you go. We already have the first card. Also looks like there's a few other cards in there. You can already see the first cards. I did only order three, so I'm guessing. What whatever he whatever the seller put in here is like extra, you know. Some sellers on or some sellers from Japan us usually do that, and as you could see, they are usually very well packaged. So let me just get all of these out. Let's see what the extra cards are. Let's see. So it's just a bunch of random cards. I actually didn't didn't order these. These were just just extra. Seems to be from um, from Scar no from Violet EX maybe, although I might be mistaken. 
Okay, well, some extra cards, I guess, for more protection or something. Something like that. And then here is the star of the show. That's a double top load. I've never seen something like this before. So let's check out the Charizard first. Are you right? Japanese sellers usually tend to use the side loading top loaders. So once again, these aren't in a perfect condition. But. For a binder copy, these should be more than fine. Check out this Charizard. And they're all the most important thing. I mean, you're going to see on the back here. There's a lot of whitening on the back. As I said, not the perfect condition, but for a binder copy, this looks perfect. The most important thing about these, though, is that they are all in first edition. Nope, I guess the camera doesn't want to cooperate, but I guess you can kind of see here. First edition. We have the Charizard, and we have, of course, the other two as well. The Blastoise and the Venusaur. You just get both of them out. This is actually pretty cool, like a a big top loader. You can use these for two cards. This is actually pretty nice. It's the first time I've seen one of these. So that in itself is pretty cool. Let's check out the Blastoise first. Right here, once again. Like, the front is super, super clean for these. Front is super clean. This is why I chose them. Because for binders, copies, there's good as good. they're gonna be amazing. This one actually looks looks better than the Charizard on the back, which you can also see right here, a bit of whitening. But that's more than fine for my purposes. That is more than fine. And last but not least, we should check out the, the Venusaur. Here we have the Venusaur. Nice. Super cool. And the back. Once again, bit of whitening. But this is really, really cool. As you do know, I'm a huge, huge fan of EX cards. Huge fan of EX cards. Let's put them... Where should I put them? I kind of want to have them on, like, on display. But then also the light is kind of glaring because of the sleeves. So maybe... Yeah, sure. Let's, let's have them like this. What else do we have? Oh yeah, I think we also have some some graded cards right here. I think these should be the gray. Yes, they are. They are the graded cards. Okay. See, I, I've completely forgotten some of the cards that I've bought here. These should be two PSA cards. And I think. Yeah, 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 okay. So this is a Charizard GX from the same tin, you know, from from these tins, from the Hidden Fates tins. And this is a PSA 10, which is really cool. And then we also have Friends in Gala in English in a PSA 10. If you've seen one of my last posts, you know that I've recently, well, recently, a bit, of, uh, a bit ago, I bought the PSA 10 version of the Japanese version of this card. And you know, this is my favorite full art trainer. So this is why I figured you might might as well pick up the English version as well while I'm at it. So here we are. Two cool, two cool PSA sleeves. I'm running out of space to display, display these things. Hang on. There we go. All we have to do is just zoom out a bit. And then we can, can keep displaying the cards, I suppose. All right. Next up. We don't have that many envelopes left, so... Here we go. Let's open... Let's open this one. Here we go. That's, that's nicely packaged as well. Some nice cardboard so the card doesn't bend. If only I could get it open. There we go. What's stuck in the corner there? Some scarlet and violet ETBs. And here we are. Our top load. Let me just try to get this. Get this off. Pull it out like like this. Oh, or just pull it out like this. Okay. Well, that works as well. Now I have to try to get out these two cards. Without bending them. Okay, we have the first one. And let's see the second one. Here we go. Okay. So, here we have the Full Art Hex Maniac. This is actually a promo card from... I don't even know. 
The symbol looks like maybe Ancient Origins, although I'm not familiar with these sets. So might be wrong. But if I remember correctly, this was classified as a promo card. I don't know. This looks cool though. I already have, like, these are old school full art trainers. And I already have the Skyla and the N. So that's why I figured might as well buy a third one to have a, a nice, nice row of full art trainers, of old school full art trainers. And this is, yep, the Galarian Articuno alternate art from Chilling Rain. I've unboxed a, or I've opened a 100 euro mystery box last year and I, I got the Galarian Zapdos alternate art. So I picked up the Articuno. I also have the, the Moltres in here somewhere. So I bought these two to complete the, the trio, but this looks this looks pretty cool. And I mean, the only thing, this was actually pretty cheap because the only thing that's wrong with it is like this little whitening dot if the camera would focus maybe. There we go. There's like a little whitening dot like right here. And that's the only thing that's wrong with it. I mean, it's a bit off centered, but that's a given for me at this point. Like most of my, if not all of my alternate arts are off centered. So I don't I don't even mind this. Let's see, I have a small letter here. I think this might have been one of the first letters that actually arrived. Let me just try to rip this open. I can get the, the card. Okay, there you go. We can just rip this one open. Okay. This is yup. This is also if you've seen my ranking of my favorite alternate arts then you do know that this is this is also one of my favorites as well. A lot of my favorites here, but here we have the Hizuian Lilligant alternate art. And this is actually still incredibly cheap. It's like, what, $20 for an alternate art? 20 euros? This is pretty cool. I love this alternate art. This is, this is so cool. And yeah, well, condition on most of these, I mean, on these alternate arts is going to be near perfect, you know, other than the centering. Of course, they're still modern. Put you right here. You can chill out there. What do we have here? Okay, yeah, this is actually the last letter that arrived. Let's see if I can rip this open. Nope, I cannot. Okay. This. And then we can... Get to the cart, hopefully, maybe. It's looking good. So yeah, this is what's actually the last letter that arrived. All the way from Spain. Actually, didn't take that long. Took like, like three or four days. But the guy I bought it from took a kind of a long time to ship. Took him like eight days to ship. I mean, there was, there was Easter in between me ordering it and so on and so forth. So I'll forgive him for that. A lot of holidays. Probably busy with with other stuff, so it's fine. At least the shipping didn't take too long. And this is the the Moltres. So we do have the, the legendary bird trio. I did get a picture of this beforehand. I mean, most of these I got a picture from. The last envelope that we have here, I didn't actually get pictures because for some reason the seller doesn't send pictures because he gets too many requests. But here we go. It is off centered as, as fuck, but this is still pretty cool. I mean, and it goes well together with the other tool. I mean, the Articuno is off-centered in this direction, and the, the Zapdos that I have is off-centered in this direction, so there you go. This is just the, the worst of both worlds. But, yeah. Even this off-centered version, though, did cost me quite a bit of money, I do have to say. I didn't, didn't remember it being this expensive, but I guess with Sword and Shield kind of retiring, if you will, you know, the new era of Scarlet and Violet, these alternate arts might get might get pretty expensive here. So here we go. Here we have the last envelope. And this should have our last two cards in. Let's see. Yo, is that the is that the only thing in here? No, there's a there's another one in here. Also a piece of paper, which does have my address on it. So I don't actually want to show this. Hang on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there's just my order or my invoice in there, which I don't actually want to show because that has my my real address. That would be kind of bad. So, two envelopes. 
or two two top loaders. We'll see what's what's in what. Should be two carts in here. So uh, maybe I can just rip these open. This shouldn't be. Yeah, this is easy, easy tape to to rip. Okay, working our way through. At least it's nicely packaged, eh? Okay, so this one didn't come in a in a um, top loader. You can see these are just you know extra. I didn't actually buy these. It's just for protection, probably. What's this? Magic. Looks like magic. Cool. And here we go, the Celebi V alternate art. I bought a lot of alternate arts, if you couldn't tell, but among other things. This is pretty cool. And let me just check this out. Yeah, this is also immaculate, immaculate um, condition. It's just a bit bent, but that is, that is fine. That usually doesn't mean it's damaged or anything. Let me get some sleeves. And we go, I've got a sleeve lying around here. Leave the Celebi up, and here's the last one. Let me try to cut this open, maybe that's easy. Or faster. Don't want to cut into the card. But that appe this appears to be in a in a top loader, so should be fine. Get us maybe I can get the card out. What he Jesus. That's really, really strong tape, eh? There we go, we've got it. We've got it out of here. Just have to cut this one. There we go, okay. So I kind of want this to be a surprise, not only to, to you, but to me as well. As I said, so this is the seller that just doesn't send any pictures because I guess he gets too many requests for pictures. But if there ever is a problem, you can just, you know, message him. And he'll maybe give you a refund. Oh, double sleeved as well. This is what I like to see. That's kind of a cool sleeve. I wonder what this is from. Seems like the Zashian or Zamazenta Ultra Premium Collection or something. And okay, so it is a normal sleeve. So here we go. Moment of truth. Yo, it's the Mew VMAX alternate art. And man, seeing this in person, this actually looks pretty cool. Once again, another alternate art that is a bit off-centered, but this is still fine. Man, I honestly expected this to shine a bit more, but I guess, I guess that's what it is. It's still pretty cool, don't get me wrong, and yeah, the condition is, other than the, the off-centering, it's perfect. This is a, this is a perfect condition. Let me actually use this, this sleeve right here. There we go. Well, so there you have it. That was my order of 1,000 euros worth of Pokemon product. If you just look at these, it doesn't actually seem that much, eh? But most of these things were, like, pretty expensive. I mean, the Mew alone was 150. These three was, like, 180 or something. I paid both for these for 100. Then I paid 50 for this. I don't even remember. The Moltres was 130, I think. Uh, both of these, I don't actually remember. And then the 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 three tints were like a, a 170 or something. It was quite expensive for what we've gotten. But, you know, you only live once, as the youth would say. Actually, I don't say that anymore. That's cringe. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then a like would be greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing for more awesome content in the future. Thanks for watching. Peace, peace.